So uh, let's do a single player run. So yours went uh, very similar to mine, I freeze. Um, I kind of want to do a Covenant 20 run just to get a Crucible Cup. I don't currently have one because I climbed during closed beta before these cups were a thing. So I kind of want to get one. So I will do a Covenant rank 20 run, which is still pretty challenging. Random, random. Let's see what we get. Perils of Production, Grovel Wicklash with Umbra Remnant. Okay, that's a decent start. Could go in any direction. Flicker Slicker. We have to take that with uh, these clans. Mm. <coughs> hmm. So. We do have two Perils of Production already. We also have a Grovel already. So... I think we could go either way with these units. But with Flicker's Liquor, I really want to do a Ember Drain build, I think. So let's go with an Umbra here. We can easily do... Uh, let's go with Trample here. I can easily do a mix of Ember Drain and Morsel Feeding with Flicker's Liquor. So that should be interesting. Mm, with these guys, top floor is reduced in capacity, so I guess we take the middle floor. This is not very helpful. Well, we can use it to block on the bottom floor. The lifesteal is definitely gonna be worth a lot. Doesn't look like it will do much, but I probably should have set one on the top. But thanks to the armor being gone, we now have enough damage to trample over all of these. But we miss out on the collector, sadly. Now not, mu not much I can do against these guys here. They will just destroy my bottom floor. Some health is nice. It will give us another kill. But we will be short on damage against this backline. So we will possibly take one damage here. Um, no, we're actually okay thanks to this Wicklash. Nothing we can do on the bottom helps. And our Penumbra is a bit too weak to fight these guys. Mm, that's an issue. Yeah, that's an issue. We don't have any way to kill the boss here. At least we got the rage down on these guys. So we actually have the chance to get an attack off. Come on, give me a, one good morsel. You don't? Okay. So, right now our Penumbra is gonna die after his second attack anyways. So we might as well get some additional damage out of him. Same for this guy. Well, 
We managed to take only minimal damage here. We're still better off in health than on a normal Covenant 25 run. Space Prism is very good. Dripfall, hello, tripping, smolten encasement. I wouldn't mind a dripfall here. But I don't think it's needed in this uh, clan combination especially. Okay. I mean, I was looking at Overgorsha, but then I realized I had Flicker Slicker, so... Why get an Overgorsha to uh, 200 damage over the course of the run if we can just have 200 damage right up front? Nope. I want Shadow Siege in my first hand so I can easily play it. Might as well get some multi-strike on it. Because why not? Okay, I think we I think we've officially won the run. I think we can guarantee cost reducing empathy uh, uh, shadow siege on our first turn always. Uh, no way to stop these guys. Might as well stop these. And Shadow Siege goes on the bottom. And these guys can just die on the top. And now we just end the turn until we win. Uh, should have played Penumbra on the top, to be honest. No, that wouldn't have worked out. He would just have died. Uh, there was no way to get that. Well, there was one way, playing Shadow Siege on the top. Maybe that was the way I should have taken. But to be honest, we don't really need gold anyways, because we have Shadow Siege now. Another another Shadow Siege? Could do it. Now our floors are full, full with uh, two Shadow Sieges and Penumbra. Do I want any of these? Uh, maybe the Awoken Ray Spike. We do have a lot of ember generation after all with the perils of productions. Okay, Dedalus. Prepare for a short and painful battle. I just realized I can't even play out any other units beside the Shadow Sieges. So I might not be able to play both Shadow Sieges this combat. Just because I don't have enough space. So I guess we take capacity next. Okay, this helps a little bit. <coughs> uh, this Shadow Siege might actually die, which could be a problem. Uh, never mind, it doesn't. It's not a problem at all. Mm -hmm. 
I was thinking about whether or not I would be able to play the second Shadow Siege, but it would have been quite the... It wouldn't have been easy. Yeah, we need capacity. We need to be able to play out units so we can actually play our Shadow Sieges. Uh, card removal and unit upgrades sounds great. Can't really do large stone. That kinda defeats the purpose of getting capacity. <laughs> Quick on the other hand is nice. And then these train stewards are a little bit of an issue. Yeah, this is also not great. But uh, with more of the train stewards gone, I think that's okay. But I really want another train steward out of here. If we draw a train steward in our opening hand and no drag, we might be unable to play uh, play the second shadow each, which is a bit of a problem. Well, not really, because now we have quick on one of the shadow sieges, so. It's not really a problem. This should work out. Play Penumbra here. Play Train Skewer on the top. We clash it. And then Shadow Siege on the bottom. Now we draw. Can't play the other with flash. Yep, can't play this Shadow Siege yet. At time we get the collector at least. Damage shield is nice. Lifesteal is also nice. Hey, we can even play our second Shadow Siege here. Um, Not any matters, but... Um, not interested. Removal and spell upgrades. Ah, the event might actually be kind of cool. Card removals. Well, let's go for the event. Honestly, best thing I could do is go to every event possible right now. Ah, oh, we get the card removal anyway. Let's get that train steward out of here. Going to the event, so I might find a few neutral cards that, that are still missing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing here really helps. Start to remove some of these shade splitters. Heaven seal, sure, I don't care. <coughs>
top floor just so we can play a train steward on the top floor if we have to next turn but we don't have to I do want to play the train sword now. Um, just to purge him out of my deck. This Penumbra is actually close to dying. Which is not a big issue, but it's a bit annoying. Yeah, left cave in. That means we can have multiple shadow sh sieges on the same floor. That sounds fun. Now we can even uh, keep duping our shadow sieges even more, thanks to the cave in. Okay. Sketches of salvation. Makes the whole Shadow Siege business a bit easier to set up. But now we also need to remove the drags. We want to guarantee Shadow Sieges from the sketches. But to be honest, that's not even all that necessary. Um, I need to play this Ultimate Pennant first. Yeah, we don't currently have room for this Shadow Siege thing. Um, for some morsels we do then we play this one first get some cost reductions out of it and finally we cave in this floor Back down, fell. I need you on the bottom floor. Um, can we play Shadow Siege here? Might be close. I think we can. If we we clash this guy. No, it actually doesn't work. Uh, we can RNG it though. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's fun. And health that. 
<laughs> um, sacrificial resurrection isn't terrible. Not great either. We need more capacity, that's all we need. Makes it easier to get these things set up. Uh, card removals. Might as well pick that one up. It's a pretty good one. And then finally, I think we remove another drag, so we guarantee at least two Shadow Sieges on the first turn. And at least one of them is always gonna be quick. Alright, oh, Penumbra is now 6 capacity. Uh, so I played the mortal on the wrong floor. Oh, never mind. Yeah, this is a good floor. I like it. I don't need anything else. I think I'm fine with what I have. I've removed one more drag. Actually, if we remove both the drags. <laughs> yes. Give me another one of these. Any trinkets worth taking? Uh, not really. Most importantly, we need to get these two drags out of here. And I don't think we can even afford it. A relic here. <coughs> so now our only units in the deck are four, sh four shadow teachers, which will be guaranteed summoned on turn one on the middle floor. All of them have multi-strike, to have quick, to have multi-strike two. Still not enough to first turn kill the Seraph, but it's close. I think that's a second turn kill though. Welcome to Shadow Siege Town, Seraph. Enjoy your stay. Why can't I have scores like this in the daily challenge? Finally, I have all the cups assembled. Shadows each town, population 4. <laughs> I think uh, Penumbra can be a honorary resident. It's almost big enough. Almost a shadow siege. Not quite, but close. <laughs> 